everybody, and welcome to the first, well, this is the last preseason edition of ProLine as far as the NFL is concerned, and of course we'll be getting to the first edition of the college football uh, ProLine as well. So, some good stuff to view on the website. We started off by introducing everybody. I'm Dave Koken. John Cranton is here from Jim Feist Sports, and the master of the big play, Chip Trimbus, Mr. Megalux himself, coming to us from sunny Florida. What is that uh, in the in the background there? That is that a Wade Boggs uh, poster? Well, yeah, there's a Wade there's a Wade Boggs, but it's it's not a Yankee Wade Boggs or a Boston Red Sox Wade Boggs. It's a Hall of Fame Wade Boggs. He happened to be showing up at the New York Yankee Steakhouse, which uh, my blushing bride happens to be an events manager there ah. at uh, Coconut Creek. But anyway, it hasn't been sunny Florida very long, Dave. It's been raining, hurricane ice. It's been all over the place. The yeah. Dolphins are looking for any kind of reason to go swimming. But believe me, that team's in serious trouble down here right now in preseason. Not good. Oh, I've, I've been, been watching it all of August. Wait a minute. You're not going to believe this. I'm burning nachos right now. I'll be right back. I'm serious. <laughs> well, bring them all. We can, we can have them all. In the meantime, time out. Time out. Well, I'll do the yeah. ad. And then those weight, weight bugs just hit the ground. <laughs> That's that's fitting. Thank good. <laughs> when he fell out of that car in spring training. <laughs> well, it's up to you to okay, edit this ad or not. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll do the ad while Chip comes back with his nachos. All right. Uh, let's last week, first, you know, let's mention that Jim uh, had, had a good run with his games of the year over the past couple of weeks. And I saw this. I'll take one of those. Look at this. They're burned. Yeah, Jim. Jim lost his preseason game of the year last week. Uh, that was the clip. Pre, uh, the Cleveland Browns are very disappointing. He went two and one with his August football games of the year. Not the three and all we wanted, but still sixty-six percent winners turns a profit, and he's got a special going this weekend. So football tries back to, to celebrate the college football start. I am so sorry. So you can get three so games sorry. from Jim for nine bucks. Plus comes with a three and zero guarantee. You get all three games. You go 3-0, and and if they don't win, you get a week of football free from Jim, 1-866-841-1655. Well, Chip, now that you're back uh, yeah. with nachos that appear to be a little well done. Uh, yeah, some, some of them, though. I got some about, of them. Let's yeah. talk about something that's been done well, and that's your uh, that's your preseason run in the NFL. Uh, two out of three good days. I know that Friday was a struggle for you like it was for me last week, but Thursday and Saturday, you know. Oh, terrible. Well, you know, Dave, it's been a great run for us. We were 2-0 and last Thursday. Friday got a little beat up. Came back strong on the weekend. Now, this week, the final week of preseason, I have a preseason money game of the year. This is a great contest for you, and that's going to be included with one full month of NCAA football. And you know what we do in college football in September, Dave, for only $29. So give me a call at 866-841-1665. You should be able to read the number, even if I don't say it correctly. Dave, we know we've had that problem in the past, but it's 866-841-1665. Full month of NCAA action. My game of the year in Money game of the year in preseason football, all yours. Give me a call, $29. I, I actually had a lousy week last week. Uh, I had a couple of good days, but it, it was a losing week. Don't win every week. I wish I did. It's a lot more fun. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm on these games myself, and I am not a good loser. And uh, Friday was a bad day for me uh, as well. Uh, just got a lot of things wrong that day. So it was a losing week, but we bounced back real strong. The early part of this week, doing extremely well. A uh, couple of big plays out there that scored, so already got it back in, in terms of what we lost last week, and uh, now it's on to the winner's circle for a big weekend with some great stuff in the colleges and in the pros. Now, I've got my college season special, and this is dynamite. It's 99 bucks. That's the whole season. You get all my action plays for the entire year in college football. There's two bonuses included. One... Whenever my college game of the year comes up, and everybody knows about how well that's done over the years, uh, I don't, I obviously have no idea when it'll be right now. I've got a few games circled for uh, different periods of the season, and if things fall right, they could be gigantic plays, uh, but that's a wait and see type of thing. You can't force a play like that. One play that I do have right off the bat, though, that I'm big on is the Thursday night game here in Las Vegas between Minnesota and UNLV. Uh, I know the Rebels about as well as anybody. In fact, uh, when, when I'm done taping this, I'm off to a local establishment to do this week's coaches show uh, with Bobby Houck. 
uh, which airs on ESPN Radio out here in Las Vegas. So I, I think I've got good insight into this team. doesn't make every play automatic, and there's certain weeks where I'm not going to have any opinion on it, but I have a very strong opinion on this opening game against the Golden Gophers, who are in town to play at Sam Boyd Stadium. That's going to be included when you sign up for the $99 full season special. That play alone absolutely makes it worth signing up for. I think it's a great play, and we're going to get the money on this one. So make sure and make the call, 1-866-896-1629. You have to call today to get this price, obviously, because the game goes tonight. 1-866-896-1629. Okay. Bengals and Colts, they are on Fox TV on uh, Sunday, I guess it is. That is a uh, Thursday. On uh, Thursday, I should say. And that's uh, a pair of teams that have high hopes for improvement this season. One showing that last year wasn't a fluke in the Bengals. The other, obviously, trying to rebound from what was a uh, disastrous 2011 season. But it may have been addition by subtraction because they got luck. And it looks like uh, things are back in the other direction to some extent for the Colts. I, I'm going to start off on this because i got to tell you, I, and again, it doesn't mean much in the preseason. I really like this. The more I look at this Bengals team, the more I really like them. And I, I think they might win that division. I think the Steelers have some issues on defense. Um, and the Ravens probably the, deserve to be the favorite, but there's just something nagging at me about the Ravens, about the age and the defense. I think there's... There are some concerns. I think the Bengals are still flying under the radar. They're not getting much attention from anybody. But this is a core of good young players. Andy Dalton uh, is a tremendous player. A.J. Green is going to be one of the dynamic wide receivers in the game. Now, we're not going to see a lot of these guys out here uh, in this game, and, and I really don't have a strong opinion on the side. I would lean to the under in this game. I don't think you'll see either team showing a lot on offense. So to me, it uh, looks like it might be a low-scoring football game. That's not a real strong opinion. Guys? Well, you know, I, one thing you said is but you're not sure exactly how long you're going to get these starters on most of these clubs except for one thing. I believe the Colts are going to play Andrew Luck as much as they can. I mean, the, the, this guy has on a learning curve right now, which is really important. It's very steep. I mean, I, I see him taking most of the snaps, and I see Andrew Luck playing most of the game, and so that would make me have an edge toward Indianapolis. One thing about there's no that. reason. To, Go ahead. I was, I was going to say there's no reason to save him because um, we got to see what he can do yet. I mean, he's still got to go out there and and, and play, each play he should be absorbing something. So I don't know. I see him get a lot of playing time in this one. I do like the new-look offense for the Colts. Andrew Luck is the real deal. They've got good skill position talent around him, a nice mixture of young and old. The thing about the Colts, though, defense, very young, a lot of soft spots. And the other thing about the Colts on both sides of the ball is that their depth is extremely weak. Now, we really haven't seen that as a major weakness yet, and that was because the starters have been playing more and more in each week, particularly last week. Well, I think this is the week that we're going to see how shallow that depth is. So that would keep me off the Colts. Uh, I would make a small lean, however, toward the over. The Colts are 3-0 and over the total in preseason. Part of it is that soft defense. And this game is indoors, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit more points. And the, the over the last couple of weeks, 12-4 and in week 3 and 9-7, and seven, it's been a trend. So a small play, but not a big one. All right, before we uh, get to our question of the week, which comes to us via Twitter... And you can follow the show at Jim Feist Sports uh, at Twitter. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but first let's go to Jim Feist himself. He is uh, our, our man on the street. And a huge football trifecta going this weekend, Jim. Thanks, Dave. The only thing hotter than the Vegas heat is yours truly. Well, last week I did stub my toe. I had the Cleveland Browns to win as my game of the year in the preseason. They really didn't show up. I'm ashamed of that pick, but you know what? I'm 2-1 and one in the preseason of my games of the year. The week before, I had a total of the year with Seattle-Denver, went over the total, and I had a CFL game of the year winner with British Columbia as they crushed Saskatchewan 24-5. This weekend, college football season kicks off, and I have a triple header going tonight. Three games for $9. The guarantee is you go 3-0, and 
or you'll get a week of football free. Just make the phone call, 1-866-841-1655. Three big games, $9, and you get the guarantee, 1-866-841-1655. Back to you, Dave. I'm excited about football, and I know you are too. Okay, thanks, Jim, and knock them dead as usual this weekend. That question of the week on Twitter, you know, send us a question or a comment. Uh, if we use yours on the show, you put in a drawing to receive $100 worth of plays from any handicapper of your choice. This is from Navarra Har Harriman of Stockton, California. Any teams that you think will be worse than Vegas odds makers expect based on preseason and offseason moves. John, what do you think? Well, I'll take over the Tennessee Titans. I mean, this is a team that they were 9-7 and seven last year, very impressive. Uh, almost made the playoffs. They had a rookie head coach in Mike Munchak. Uh, the thing is, they really weren't that impressive when you look inside the numbers. A lot of close games that they were able to pull out. Passing game was the strength of the team, ranked 12th. The running game was 31st. They had all kinds of problems. And the defense was worse, 14th defending the pass, 24th against the rush. They lose Corlin Finnegan. That's going to hurt the secondary. Really didn't upgrade the pass rushing, which was a major weakness last season. And now you look at the quarterback situation. Hasselbeck, the old man, 18 touchdowns, 14 picks last year, easily on the downside of his career. So they've jumped him, and they've gone to Jake Locker. You know, this is a guy who, when he was at Washington, great runner, but he never really developed as a strong passer, and yet they're going to go with him as the starter. So uh, I think the Titans take a step backwards this season. I'm, I'm going to name a club. I see two. Well, go ahead. Oh, Jim. sorry, Dave. No, go ahead. You go no, ahead. I see two clubs that I see two clubs out there that um, I can't see how they can live up to expectations. Uh, one is the Jets, which we've all witnessed, and uh, you watch this team deteriorate the way they have. It's just absolutely amazing. And um, the other side is in the same division. It's so bad these teams get to play each other. Is is the Dolphins? I mean, uh, these teams are withering away to nothing. It just looks like it's going to be another walkover season in the East for the Patriots. Um, you know, those two are lucky they play each other because I'm, I'm telling you, they're, they're both, Dave, you've seen it. I know, John, you've seen it too. They, they both look actually horrid during the preseason right now. Yeah. Chip, the Jets, Rex Ryan said that the Jets offense is just playing possum. So maybe that's the case. The Bulls, I, I, they, I saw them. I watched them. These guys are playing real football. They're fighting for their jobs. I, I don't believe that at all. They have no firepower from that quarterback position. It's very inaccurate. Sanchez was never an accurate quarterback, and Tebow's big and strong, but he's very inaccurate. And um, I don't see any possum being played at all. Now, they may come out and win some games, of course, but I think their defense is also a little bit overrated. I, I just don't see it. I don't see them with a big, strong, pounded running game, and they're going to need it. There's a chance you could have a whole new regime uh, with that team next year. You could see Ryan and Tebow yeah. on both go. I can see it. Yeah, I, I can see it. Look, I I don't put much stock into the preseason, but you got to look at 35 possessions and zero touchdowns and say something's going on that's not good here. That's the Jets. Uh, I'll mention two quickly. I think the Jaguars are even worse than people might think they are. This could be the team. There's always one team where you know we get to the middle of the season and we hear the guys saying, uh, "Boy, can we have an 0 16 year?" Yes, yes, we could with Jacksonville. They're that bad. Uh, I don't know that they're going to win more than two games this year. The other one's the Eagles. Uh, I, I'm just not buying this football team. I know they played better down the stretch last year, and they do have some intriguing personnel, but I just think there's holes in this team. And I also have my doubts as to how healthy Michael Vick will be able to stay. Every year he gets, uh, that he ages, his body will continue to get a little more fragile because it's just a, you know, continuing buildup of these injuries and we've seen him get hurt twice already in the preseason I'll be surprised if he plays more than 12 games this year for the Eagles uh, I think that he is going to get hit on a regular basis and I'm not sure how his body's going to respond to that and believe me if Michael Vick's down on the field no offense to Mike Kafka or anybody uh, that they choose as their backup quarterback that's a huge drop off uh, so I think this could be a, a difficult season for the Eagles Guys, before we uh, close out this edition of ProLine, let's uh, get a best bet. Anything you really like out there this weekend on the NFL side? I defer, John. 
I'll take a shot in the colleges uh, with uh, NC State. They're an underdog going on Friday, and uh, I'll take them to, uh, to pull the surprise. I like Tom O'Brien. They have a returning starting quarterback, one of the best secondaries in the country. NC State is an underdog. Yeah. I see again. I, I think the Cleveland Browns are just out there to, to keep on churning it out. The, um, Whedon is another situation where they're going to have this kid playing as, as much as they possibly can and trying to not, he is not, find he's not going to play in this game. He, he, he's, he's not gonna, playing at all. He's going to sit in this game. Just that well, information. Well, then there goes that my best bet. I was going to give you. I thank you for that. I was going to give you Louisiana Tech, but um, you know what's happening with them. Yeah. They're rained out. Yeah, I'll say they are. And, um, <laughs> you know, what are you going to do that down there? I, I really don't have anything for you uh, as far as uh, otherwise I'm giving you my game of the year. Wouldn't I be doing that? I, I, that's not a good those nachos. I think they got to pay for that one. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. I do. I, I uh, uh, do not go strong in the final week of the NFL preseason because most teams are sitting there, guys. Late information could change that. Uh, but uh, as of now, I mean, I'm, I'm just not going to throw a best bet out there that I really don't like. So I'm going to stay. Yeah, I'm I, have one, up I have one game, game I, here, obviously. So what I'll yeah, suggest I'm, is. I'm just a one game guy. Yeah, you want to take advantage and, and get a big play. Take advantage of this offer. $99, full season, all my action plays throughout the entire college season. The Minnesota UNLV play will be included, and that's a big play on my personal service. And you'll also get my college game of the year when that comes up. It's a tremendous offer, and you're lined up for the entire season with this for $99. one 896 1629 Chip, uh, uh, again, the bounce back continues from one bad day, but it's been a real good preseason for you, so I don't think you can plan it at it's all. It's been great. No, I'm not. I'm not getting it. It's a day at a time. We know that. No one wins every day in this business. And um, I've got a big game. Well, see, I have a single game on Thursday that I really like, and, and um, I just didn't want to spill the beans on it. It's going to be my money game, preseason game of the year. It's $29, and included with that is the entire month of September NCAA football. All my big-time Megabuck winners and all the big-time action in college football for $29. Give me a call, 866-841-1665. Get it all. My final preseason game of the year. It's a money game winner. It's the only game I like on Thursday, to tell you the truth. And all of college football. 866-841-1665. Give me a call. You'll be glad you did. John, uh, Jim's got a dynamite trifecta this weekend for an ex extremely low price. $9. Yeah, three games from Jim Feist. Nine bucks. And it comes with a 3 and 0 guarantee. You'll sweep the board 3 and 0 or get a week of football free on Jim 1 866 841 1655. All right, I think that's it for the pro edition of Pro Line. Obviously, next week we'll be talking regular season games and the guessing will be over as to who's playing and who's not. So, definitely want to check back for that. Make sure you check out the college football weekend edition of Pro Line as well. John Crane and Chip Trimbus. I'm Dave Cook, and thanks for watching and uh, knock them dead this weekend, guys. Take care.